Hi, how are you doing? I'm going to show you how to chop a couple of things today that are in season at the moment. You might see them in recipes, they crop up in a few of the recipes that I'm sharing in my meal plans, but they might be something you've not tackled before and you just need a bit of help. So first of all, whenever you're doing some chopping, always get a bit of wet paper towel, kitchen roll, run it under the tap, put it underneath your board and it'll stop your board slipping around. Second thing is always have a sharp knife because especially with root vegetables that are quite hard, you definitely want a nice big sharp knife. Otherwise a little piddly blunt knife is gonna do you no favors. So the first thing I'm gonna show you what to do is Swede. In America, this is known as rutabaga, which totally threw me when I moved there. Um, Swede is quite round, it's quite a thick skin. A lot of people will do it with a peeler. The easiest thing is just to do it with a knife. So literally all you need to do is chop both ends off. And then because whenever you're chopping something round, you wanna give yourself a flat bottom. So turn it on one of the ends, have a bowl for all your rubbish. And then you want to just cut it in half. And then you've given yourself a really nice sturdy base. So you can hold it like that, which just makes chopping a lot easier. But to get a peel off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on one of the ends and then literally just run your knife down and just cut off the pieces of peel. So I'm just gonna do that the whole way round. And listen, this is an inexpensive vegetable, so don't stress too much if you're cutting a bit too much off. It's better to do that and do it a bit quickly. So peels all off. And then most recipes that I use in, you're gonna to want to cut it in a small dice. So the way I do that with a vegetable like this is just cut it into slices. So point of the knife on the board into slices about a centimetre thick and then turn those slices so you've got the slices like that put them in a stack make a little tunnel with your fingers and put your knife in the middle to keep your fingers safe cut down and then you've got sort of little fingers and then turn that stack around and just cut to get a dice and you're going to get a little dice like that Throw them all over your worktop, that really helps. Um, the really good thing about that is smaller pieces will cook faster. Now, Swede, I love um, steamed or boiled with carrots and then mashed with butter and a bit of pepper and Dijon mustard as a side dish. Or a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll roast this with butternut squash and um, carrots and then either use it as a side dish or I'll stir it through a stew or make it into a soup. Um, but if you need any ideas about what to do with it, let me know. So the next root vegetable is celeriac. Now celeriac I think a lot of people haven't done before. It's really similar to um, the texture of Swede. The flavour is like a really mild celery flavour. So you might have had it in France, celeriac remoulade, when it's grated and mixed with mayonnaise and mustard as like a salad. Delicious. You can roast it, you can make soup with it. Um, it's a really nice kind of root vegetable. I make a really nice mash with it. So you just cook it as you would potatoes and then put it in a food processor with some cream cheese, mustard, a little bit of milk, nutmeg um, and puree it up and it's a really nice mash. So let me show you how to peel it and then once you can do this, you can make all sorts of things. So it's kind of gnarly. Um, if you, a lot of the time when I see this in America where it's called celery root, you'll see it actually with bits of celery growing out the top as well. Um, so I'm just going to chop both ends off exactly the same as the Swede. And then with this one, you can literally just cut around with a knife. And then it just reveals the really lovely white flesh underneath. Like I say, you can roast this, you can make it into some really nice soup. It's quite creamy. Um, so it's kind of got the texture of potato without the carbiness, if that's your thing. Um, but roasting it just intensifies the flavour and I've actually done recipes where you um, just roast thick slices of it almost like a steak so that's delicious. So that's all the skin off and then again all you need to do is chop it in half, point of the knife on the board and just use your weight to push through because that gives you stability and it keeps you safe. Again turn the stacks over through the fingers, turn them round nice little dice. Again, throw it all over the worktop. Um, I hope that's helpful. Um, let me know what else you want to see me chop and I'll help you out with that as well. Thank you.